The Brian and Vinny Show. Brian and Vinny Show. Brian and Vinny Show. Minus five stars every day. And Vinny is driven all the way here. His camera's not working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. All Riveting. right. Yep. We go that way. Uh, nope. Wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh. the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, oh, there yeah. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. Bro, we went to all the rides on the boardwalk. Man, I was in my element. Holy smokes. We had a blast. You're tall enough to ride them? Get out of here. You hate rides. Maybe on. No, I don't. What are you talking about? Dude, we took you. Vinny, Montezuma's Revenge. At SeaWorld. Sea World. I hear screaming from the back. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was going to get wet. Ka! You screamed like a little girl. Though. Yeah, was awesome. I was getting soaked. You know who needs to win this match? Wheeler Yuta. Mm-hmm. And I don't like to make comparisons with WWE. <laughs> ah! He got butchered, so to speak. He, he did, in fact, get butchered by this butcher. He was doing a lot better in New Japan Strong. <laughs> he should have so. stayed there. Grass is always greener. Till you run into the butcher. <laughs> is that how the same Then goes? the grass is red. Yeah, was that offensive, Craig? That crown of of uh, barbed wire that sure did offend Eric Bischoff. It uh, offended a lot of people. Um, if you're looking to be offended, you were probably offended. What in the fuck was the point of that title run? What was the point of that title run? Yeah. I can't figure it out. This belt used to mean a lot, and the past like two months have just been a murder show on it. Yeah. I am prepared for the heat I will garner for this statement, but I'm going to make it anyway because I don't give a fuck. The Satnam Singh is already better than any giant they have in WWE. Oh, sure. Bro, I don't give a fuck what you guys thought about his debut on Wednesday. For those of you that don't have video, you are missing out. Granny is uh, <laughs> she's wearing her Undertaker hat. Oh, nice. No, I don't like ham, yeah. but I like bacon. I like pork. You know, it comes from the same animal. I know. Right? That's why it's weird. Sure, Lisa. A Carolina Smoke. Animal. What is your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Never read one. What? The greatest Dr. Seuss book is Wacky Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and a bunch of wacky stuff happens. Holy. What? It's no green eggs and ham, I'm sure. I like the Grinch. That's creepy and weird, too. Reminds me of me. One time we had a chunk sitting out in the, on a bench in the yard, and the sun was so hot, the thing just blew up. Yeah. What, uh, what are you talking about? Did you realize at the time that the Great Depression sucked? But if you're born in a depression and the depression just continues, you don't know any better. I know that. But Paisley is well aware we were in a pandemic and that it sucked. And the depression was lasted way longer than when Granny was five. So I presume that Granny was well aware that shit sucked. Right, Granny? Yep. Yeah. Right. We just didn't know any better. Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> I want to wrestle the next guy that comes through that door. Guess who it was? Drew McIntyre. I don't I don't have this down even down here. Oh yeah, okay. Sasha versus Robin. That's a AEW. I figured I'd do a AEW. Sasha versus Robin? Yeah. Ruby stuck uh Robin's or Sasha stuck no Sha <laughs> Robin stuck her fingers. Just call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys go. Stop it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Why are you mad at us? Give me back my mouse. What? My mouse. Huh? Good boy. Don't ask me, dude. That was one for the ages. God. <laughs> <laughs> they love Sherry Martell's breasts. Every fucking time she's involved in anything... Her shirt gets ripped open, her bra's hanging out, her boobs are everywhere. Tatanka comes out to make the save, he's pawing all over her boobs. No offense to anyone named Bert. But when you spell it with a U, it's much worse. Vinny, you gotta go to NXT and your name is Bert, okay? You can either spell it B-E-R-T or B-U-R-T. You're gonna look at both of those, you're gonna go E for sure. Yeah. Right, Craig? Craig knows. Yeah, because like, it's like, I drank so much, I burnt. (laughs) You know? <laughs> what? And Tatanka versus Narcissist. And Is there really a T? First it was Narcissus, like, yes. like from Greek mythology. Yes, no T. Yes. Okay. But then later it changed to the Narcissist. Yes. With a T. Yes. Yeah. But that wasn't Narcissist. That was the Narcissist. The Narcissist. No! The Narcissist. Who cares? <laughs> Bert. Yeah. yeah. Bert Narcissist. <laughs> Bert, like Bert, Bert Narcissist. Bert's bees is not with a U. 
<laughs> you wouldn't buy it. I'm oh, sorry. I need to recover from Bert Narcissist. <laughs> He's such a narcissist, he kept the name Bert. <laughs> yeah. CM Punk versus Dustin Rhodes had the oldest old school match in the history of old schools. There's your pay-per-view main event, everybody. That's certainly what it looks like here. It is CM Punk racking up wins on TV, I might add. On TV. Not on dark. No. no. He's winning on television. Wheeler Yuta got new gear, a little bit of a haircut, a huge improvement in every way. June 26th, the Chicago Center, All Elite Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling team up to present Forbidden Door. It doesn't matter if they get a pop in the building. Of course this audience is going to understand New Japan. If these shows are going to grow and we're going to have another boom period or whatever, it's going to be because your neighbor, your mom, your dad, whatever, they wrestling gets hot and some guy or girl gets hot and they decide they want to watch the show to see him. You got to explain shit to these people. Not just rely on the hardcores popping for everything. Anthony Henry versus Hook's hair. My God, the state of Hook's hair tonight. Yeah, something else. He had more spikes than Juice and Liger's mask. Looked like Sonic the Hedgehog. Kind of did. Actually, yeah. he kind of did. I, I have said this about the Bucks before, but this is a master class in douchebaggery. House of Black stuff. Icarus flew too close to the sun, so next week the sun dies. I think, I think it's supposed to be a pun, S-O-N instead of S-U-N, but whatever. I don't care. There's an Owen Hart qualifier where it's F-T-R versus F-T-R. I don't know why, but the graphics are running by. It's Dexter Cassidy goes away, and the place goes crazy. Like, what? What? We're gonna, that, sounds, what? that sounds great. Why is this happening? Go back. I would prefer him going at three times speed, and I at least see those graphics real quick and so I can see if there's anything awesome on the show than not advertising anything at all. But it should be slowed down. It's preposterously fast now. It's literally a parody at this point. He advertised nine matches. You know, was, uh, there was a 10 man tag. I don't remember who's in it. And FTR versus FTR. Those are the only two I remember. Great. What an effective advertisement you have. Nerds on a podcast talk about how nutty you are doing this shit at 62. But the fact of the matter is, you're not nutty. And it's actually not that crazy. But it gets just as big a pop as someone doing a twisting fucking moonsault off the top and everybody gets out of the fucking way because there's shit flying at them. So, anyway, smarten up, everybody. I went into this with a double shot of whiskey in my Irish coffee. We'll get into this. NXT 2.0, April 19th. Sadly, we watched it. Pretty Deadly comes out for a promo. This is a good start. I'm a huge Pretty Deadly fan. Gigi Dolan. I have absolutely no idea what her gimmick is. She has orange hair. No, but what's with the... She's always carrying around a rose, and she puts it in her mouth. Am I missing something? She's on an all-rose diet. We can't announce that his partner has been fired. No. But he is still asked about it, and he has to say something. Yeah. There's nothing he can say. No. Except, man, pretty depressed right now. Last week, last few weeks have been chaotic and rough. I was so drunk at this point, it was halfway through the match, I realized it was Tatum, Paxley, and not Corey Jade. Ugh. And they do not look anything like each other. No. <laughs> no, this is on me. And Nikita Lyons pauses and then goes... <clears throat> and then launches into her promo. <laughs> Natty is like, I don't know what was going on, but Natty's looking all over the room <laughs> the whole time. Roxanne Perez versus JC Jane. Good match. Roxanne on day one is one of the best workers in the NXT Women's oh, Division. She's great. Yes. And then, <laughs> Druids. That's all I got to say. Druids. Bro, Druids in Florida. <laughs> In 2022. <laughs> what in the fuck was this? I don't, I Are they don't, humping him? I hope not. Yeah, so I just did that movement here on the show. <laughs> no dumber than this fucking shit. 